London's burning. London's burning with desire to find a way to fight the fire, but it's burning bright throughout the night and the feelings feeling dire. In the wake of loss of life, it feels insensitive to talk political, but when the evidence points to negligence, the situation is critical. In the nation's wealthiest borough, there exists another half, a half of lookers-on, of workers strong, no strangers to the graft. These folks are fueled by hope, the working broke. This inequality's not new. And though they're the neighbours of the wealthiest, their only luxury is the view. Last year, that building had 10 million spent on through and through refurbishment. Well, surely that's good news. Was it made safer to inhabit, more convenient to use, right? Because what's the price of human life? What amount could they not fetch? Working fire alarms, a sprinkler system, what the budget couldn't stretch. According to the BAFSA, for approximately 300k, they could have had a sprinkler system fitted. But for £10 million, they did the rounds, and who was benefited? An aesthetic authority is a pathetic priority, while the majority continue in abject poverty, while burned by the baseless brunt of austerity and punished for their lack of financial prosperity. All that cash, and here is the mad thing. But they found the funds for brand new cladding, encased in a case of flammable wrapping. New padding for the luxury flats they keep adding. Nothing changes. We've all seen Titanic. We know when disaster strikes and folks feel panic, put the shutters down because some must drown. Put first class in boats, leave the rest to man it. Another tale of safety forgot so the decking can look all neat. But have we learnt nothing? Have we not come far? Why must we still feel the heat? There's a neglect of time, a neglect of care, a neglect of funds, a neglect of fare. Neglecting here and neglecting there. Governance for the few, and I don't think that's fair. I'm glad the PM met with firefighters, but why can't she meet locals or comfort survivors? A public inquiry is not the right thing to do. They will brush it under the carpet just to see it goes through. We must demand a criminal inquest by hell or high water and call this what it is, corporate manslaughter.